Hi everyone. Step aboard one of the most iconic battleships in naval history, the USS Missouri. Known as the Mighty Mo, this legendary vessel played a pivotal role in shaping world events, from the Pacific theater of World War II to the Korean War and beyond. It was on her decks that the Japanese surrender was signed, bringing an end to World War II. In this video, we'll explore the history, design, and legacy of this remarkable ship that continues to inspire awe and respect. Let's dive into the story of the USS Missouri, a true symbol of American naval power. The Iowa class of fast battleships was designed in the late 1930s in response to the US Navy's expectations for a future war with the Empire of Japan. American officers preferred comparatively slow but heavily armed and armored battleships, but Navy planners determined that such a fleet would have difficulty in bringing the faster Japanese fleet to battle, particularly the Congo-class battlecruisers and the aircraft carriers of the first air fleet. Missouri is 887 feet 3 inches long overall and is 860 feet long at the waterline. The ship has a beam of 108 feet 2 in and a draft of 37 feet 9 in at her full combat load of 57,540 long tons. The Iowa-class ships are powered by four General Electric geared steam turbines. Each driving one screw propeller using steam provided by eight oil-fired Babcock and Wilcox boilers. Rated at 212,000 shaft horsepower, the turbines were designed to give a top speed of 32.5 knots or 37.4 miles per hour, but were built to handle a 20% overload. The ships had a designed cruising range of 15,000 nautical miles at a speed of 15 knots. Missouri's crew in 1945 numbered 189 officers and 2,978 sailors. Missouri was the third ship of the United States Navy to be named after the U.S. state of Missouri. The ship was authorized by Congress in 1938 and ordered on 12 June 1940 with the hull number BB-63. The keel for Missouri was laid down at the Brooklyn Navy Yard on 6 January 1941 in Slipway 1. The ship was launched on 29 January 1944 before a crowd of 20,000 to 30,000 spectators. At the launching ceremony, the ship was christened by Margaret Truman, the ship sponsor and daughter of Harry S. Truman, then one of the senators from the ship's namesake state. Truman himself gave a speech at the ceremony. Fitting out work proceeded quickly, and the ship was commissioned on the 11th of June, Captain William Callahan served as her first commander. Missouri conducted her initial sea trials off New York. Beginning on the 10th of July, and then steamed south to Chesapeake Bay, where she embarked on a shakedown cruise and conducted training. During this period, she operated with the new large cruiser Alaska, which had also recently entered service, and several escorting destroyers. The ship got underway on the 11th of November, bound for the west coast of the United States. She passed through the Panama Canal a week later and continued on to San Francisco. There, additional fitting out work was carried out at Hunters Point Naval Shipyard to prepare the vessel for use as a fleet flagship. In late 1944, the USS Missouri was ordered to the Pacific War Zone, where she became a vital part of the Navy's operations in the final stages of World War II. By January 1945, Missouri was tasked with screening the USS Lexington's fast carrier task force as it launched the first airstrikes against Japan since the historic Doolittle Raid in 1942. In February, she supported the marine landings on Iwo Jima and recorded her first aerial kill, marking her entry into active combat. From Iwo Jima, the Missouri joined carrier task forces in striking Japan's Tokyo planes and Okinawa's fortifications. 
By mid-March, she was reassigned to screen the USS Yorktown's fast carrier group, targeting Japan's inland sea. On March 14, Missouri's gunners brought down four enemy planes during intense aerial attacks. As the Battle of Okinawa began in earnest, Missouri played a crucial role. On March 24, she joined the battleships of Task Force 58 under Vice Admiral Willis Ailey to bombard Okinawa's southeastern coast. This operation was a diversion designed to draw Japanese forces away from the island's western beaches, where U.S. forces planned to land. On April 1, 1945, American troops stormed Okinawa's beaches, supported by carrier airstrikes and the protective presence of Missouri and her sister ships. Missouri continued to guard the carriers as they launched strikes on enemy positions. On April 11, the ship was struck by a damaged kamikaze plane, which crashed into her starboard side just below the main deck. The impact caused superficial damage, a small fire near turret number 3, and scattered debris across the deck. Despite the chaos, Missouri's crew quickly extinguished the flames, and her gunners shot down another kamikaze and a twin-engine bomber later that day. Missouri faced relentless kamikaze attacks on April 16. In the afternoon, she narrowly avoided disaster as two enemy planes crashed near her and a third burst into flames as it dove toward her from the port quarter. The ship's anti-aircraft fire brought down multiple attackers, demonstrating the deadly precision of her gunners. During the Okinawa campaign, the USS Missouri downed five enemy planes, recorded one probable kill, and assisted in destroying six more attackers. She helped repel 12 daylight air raids and four night attacks, sustaining only minor damage despite the ferocity of the kamikaze assaults. Her steadfast defense earned her a reputation as a formidable guardian of the fleet and a symbol of American naval resilience. Did you know that Formosa is the historical name of Taiwan? At the time, it was part of the Japanese Empire, as the island was under Japanese control. Formosa served as a crucial supply base, troop training center, and launch point for military operations across Southeast Asia. In 1944, the Allies launched massive airstrikes on Taiwan, targeting its ports, airfields, and infrastructure. The United States initially planned an invasion of Taiwan but ultimately shifted its focus to the Philippines. After Japan's surrender in 1945, Taiwan was handed over to the Republic of China, marking the beginning of a political conflict between mainland China and Taiwan. So, during World War II, Taiwan, then known as Formosa, was a key part of the Japanese Empire and played a strategic role in the Pacific theater of war. After completing operations off Okinawa, the USS Missouri set sail for Guam on May 18, 1945, where she became the flagship of Admiral William F. Halsey Jr. shortly after. Admiral Halsey assumed command of all units of the 5th Fleet. Despite weathering a fierce storm that severely damaged the cruiser USS Pittsburgh, Missouri emerged with only minor damage and continued her mission. By early June, she joined a coordinated air and surface bombardment of Kyushu, Japan, before retiring to the Philippines for preparations to strike the Japanese mainland. The Missouri led the Third Fleet into Japanese waters, initiating devastating air raids and naval bombardments. She played a key role in targeting industrial sites like the Neon Steel Company and the Wainishi Iron Works, bringing the war to Japan's doorstep. On August 9, as the second atomic bomb was dropped, Missouri remained with the fleet, continuing strikes on northern Japan. Six days later, the news of Japan's unconditional surrender spread through the fleet. The war was over. Missouri entered Tokyo Bay on August 28, anchoring in preparation for a momentous event, the formal signing of Japan's surrender. 
At dawn on September 2, 1945, the decks of USS Missouri filled not with soldiers but with dignitaries, news reporters, and military leaders. Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz and General Douglas MacArthur arrived, followed by Japan's representatives, led by Foreign Minister Mamoru Shigemitsu. At 09.00, the historic surrender ceremony began, broadcast to the world. In just 23 minutes, World War II officially ended. Admiral Nimitz addressed his fleet, paying tribute to those who made the ultimate sacrifice and reminding all of their duty to build a safer and better world. With the war concluded, Missouri departed Tokyo Bay on September 6, carrying homeward bound veterans and symbolizing the transition from conflict to peace. After transiting the Panama Canal, the USS Missouri set course for New York, where on October 24, 1945, she was designated the flagship of Admiral Jonas Ingram, Commander-in-Chief of the United States Atlantic Fleet. Just a few days later, on October 27, 1945, the Missouri fired a 21-gun salute to welcome President Harry S. Truman aboard during the Navy Day celebration. During his address, President Truman reflected on the uncertain future of atomic research, remarking, what the distant future of atomic research will bring to the fleet we honor today, no one can foretell, he emphasized that the Navy's core mission remained unchanged, control of our sea approaches and the skies above them is still the key to our freedom and our ability to help enforce peace across the world. No enemy will ever strike us directly except across the sea, and we cannot reach out to stop and defeat an aggressor without crossing it. Thanks for watching.